everyone, Aaron Pullman here, and I'm going to be showing you this new app called XBrowse. So let's just jump right into it. Now on the Xbox Store, you could buy this for $14.99. Here we are, and you can link up your OneDrive to it. Here's the interface of the web browser. The coolest thing about this though is it's not just a web browser with this uh, holding the left and right trigger buttons you can activate this secret area and it has all these emulators you can get the game ROMs at emu paradise or ISO zone or even at we love ROMs so far currently the Nintendo DS and PlayStation emulators are unavailable for playing at the moment as games play very slowly. So you might want to avoid that until the actual update, which I heard from Twitter, will be soonish. Whenever that's going to be, I don't know. But keep an eye out for it. You can customize the controls to where you want them to be and enable an analog stick instead of using a d-pad. And here you can actually access your OneDrive if you have games stored on them. You can also access your games if you had them in their download section in File Explorer or an external hard drive or a flash drive. When you upload games to XBrowse, it collects information on the game and images. So all, all this stuff actually comes from a website called the GamesDB. It's an actual website database that collects all information on every single video game ever created. As you can see here in this demonstration, the emulator is working just fine. Controls work very well. The sound and quality is really good too. In case you're wondering, this Sonic game, Sonic Pocket Adventure, was created by Dimps and was released in 1999 with Neo Geo Pocket Color. As you can see, it features classic Sonic, but he actually has modern green eyes. It also features classic Dr. Robotnik, but at the very end of the game, he actually has his Sonic Adventure clothes. So this game ties in from the classics to Sonic Adventure. Pressing start and select together will open up this menu, and you can actually open up a save and load menu. You can also pick out different CRTs from classic TV era from the 90s. If you press select, you will bring up this menu. The game that you get doesn't have the picture. You can type in the name of the game and it will bring up the picture for you. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it very insightful. Mash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll make more videos on game consoles and other tech